Does Myra Bueno Silva have the skills to take the GOAT Amanda Nunez's place at the top of the bantamweight food chain? Well, maybe she does. But Singh is believing in MMA, so unless she takes out one of Amanda's vanquished foes in Holly Holm in style, nobody will be paying attention. Beating the preacher's daughter, however, is easier said than done. She's still a tough test for anyone in the division, even at 41 years young. So, who will come out on top at UFC Vegas 77 and cash in on an opportunity of a lifetime? Let's dive deeper into the potential title eliminator between former champ Holly Holm and rising contender Myra Bueno Silva to find out. Myra Bueno Silva was originally scheduled to fight Misha Cupcake Tate, but after the former Bantamweight champion suffered an injury and pulled out of the fight, another former champion and Holly Holm stepped in to save the day for Silva and the UFC. While Misha Tate would have tested Bueno Silva's grappling prowess, Holm brings a very different and perhaps tougher challenge to the table. Since getting stopped by Amanda Nunez in their Bantamweight title fight at UFC 239, Holm has won three out of her four UFC fights and is coming off of a decision victory against Yana Santos in March of this year. Even at 41 years old, the former champ is going strong and is taking out far younger contenders. So don't be surprised if she takes out another one, especially now that Holm is one of the favorites to capture the belt vacated by Nunez. Myra Bueno Silva couldn't care less about what Holm wants or what the odds suggest. It's every woman for herself now, and with three wins on the trot, Silva will be entering the octagon on fight night with her confidence through the roof. An armbar specialist per se, Silva will be looking to snatch a limb or two whenever she gets a chance but girl can crack on the feet as well, and Holm would be making a big mistake if she underestimates her. The question is, can Silva match Holm blow for blow in an all-out striking battle? Who has the edge in striking? Holly Holm is one of the finest kickboxers in the UFC Bantamweight division, and she likes to break her opponents down in mainly three ways. One of her keys to victory is range kicking, which she uses to outpoint her opponents but she also relies heavily on her counterattacks and her small spells of aggression, attacking her opponents with combos before moving out of the pocket in a flash. Against strikers, her range kickboxing works well, but against grapplers like Myra Bueno Silva, she does a great job of turning her foe's takedown attempts into clinch battles, where she racks up some control points before separating with an elbow or two. The former champ's range kicking strategy has only failed twice against high-level kickboxers like Jermaine Durandamy and Valentina Shevchenko, but Bueno Silva doesn't pose that technical threat on the feet. What Silva will try to do is press home and initiate a clinch to either blast her opponent with big knees or go for takedowns, but here's the catch. If Silva presses home without a smart game plan, she will provide Holm with the chance to counter with her left cross, add a kick or two in there, and then exit by using her lateral movement before her opponent can capitalize. As a southpaw, Holm's left hook is certainly her biggest weapon, along with her right hook, which is a perfect setup for kicks. There are so many layers to Holmes' game which Bueno Silva will have to deal with, but can she outstrike the Preacher's Daughter in all-out striking battle? Make no mistake about it, Myra Bueno Silva can crack on the feet. She's big, strong, and a powerful girl who has very solid range kicking game of her own and heavy knees in the clinch, so it'll be interesting to see how the two fighters execute their game plans from range and in the clinch since both like to dominate these positions. Compared to Holm, Bueno Silva is a pretty aggressive fighter who pushes a substantial volume and rarely takes a step back. She likes to press her opponents and do damage in the clinch, but there is one major chink in her armor, which is her striking defense. While Bueno Silva lands a little over four significant strikes per minute on average, she absorbs nearly five a minute. In contrast, Holm is a lot better defensively, absorbing less than three significant strikes per minute on average. However, her output is slightly lower at just over three significant strikes per minute on average. Bueno Silva struggles against fighters who like to stick and move like Holm, who is one of the best in women's MMA when it comes to sticking and moving. Most of Silva's wins have come against women who struggle to cut angles, but since Holm won't have that problem, she will have an edge in the striking department. In an all-out striking battle, expect Holm to outpoint Bueno Silva to secure a decision victory, unless the Brazilian can earn a knockout or rip an arm off. Seven of Silva's ten career wins have come by submission, 
which means she has a significant edge in grappling, right? Not necessarily. Who has the edge in grappling? Over the past few years, Holmes Wrestling has improved quite a lot, and that's no surprise since she trains at Jackson Wink MMA and is an elite learner herself. Defensively, she is one of the best in the division, and is almost impossible to take down, especially if her opponents shoot for takedowns without a proper setup. To take Holmes down, her opponents have to close the distance without getting punched in the face, and that is a tough ask. Even in the clinch, Holmes' positioning is very educated as she keeps her hips back, frames at the waist, and controls her opponent's arms to completely neutralize their attacks, something she did perfectly against Ronda Rousey, but not so much against Valentina Shevchenko because she was not expecting takedowns. When Holm is expecting takedowns, she is almost impossible to first take down or control on the mat. Does Myra Bueno Silva have the wrestling skills to take Holm down? As surprising as it may sound, Bueno Silva isn't a takedown artist per se. She rarely goes for takedowns, yet seven of her ten wins have come by submission. The thing is, Bueno Silva trained at Charles Oliveira's shoot box for seven years before moving to the American Top Team in 2022. So it is no surprise that her submission skills, especially off her back, are incredibly high level. But unlike other submission artists, Silva doesn't have world-class wrestling and certainly not good enough to take home down. The Brazilian is very confident off of her back and doesn't mind getting taken down. But Holm isn't the kind of fighter to shoot for the legs, unless she is badly rocked. So if Bueno Silva wants to earn her eighth career submission victory, she will have to take Holm down or pray that the American goes for a takedown. Or Silva simply snatches Holm's neck or arm in the clinch. Let's suppose if somehow the fight does end up on the mat one way or another, Silva will have the edge as far as submission threats are concerned. Holm is a fine BJJ fighter, but Silva is better, and she knows how to get the job done even if she's in a terrible position on the mat. It's a very even fight on the ground, but will give Silva a very slight edge. What are the X factors? For Holm, the X factor will be her distance striking and combinations. Should the veteran manage to consistently attack her opponent from range using her crisp kickboxing combinations, she will most definitely outpoint Silva and secure a comfortable decision victory. Now add a head kick or two in there and a stoppage win will be on the cards as well. Holm is way more technical than Bueno Silva in the striking department, and she shouldn't have many problems dealing with the Brazilian come fight night. For Bueno Silva, the key will be to pressure Holm and outstrike her with sheer volume as well as dodging her counter shots, or initiate a clinch battle and blast the American with big knees to win some control time and catch her off guard with a takedown. The Brazilian can't afford to fight a technical striker like Holm from range. She is always going to have her work cut out for her in that situation. So who wins? That ultimately brings us to our prediction. Myra Bueno Silva is a very talented fighter in the UFC Bantamweight division, but she doesn't have a big name on her resume. Experience-wise, Holm is the better fighter, and we expect her to use her experience, striking superiority, and fight IQ to earn a decision victory at UFC Vegas 77. Still, it's a very close affair. So that's how we see the fight playing out, but what are your predictions? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and for more fight previews and breakdowns, please show us some love by subscribing and turning on your notifications. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.